Okay, it's a um, beautiful day here in Virginia, so I decided we're going to play around with some pellet guns and ballistic gel. Uh, uh, ballistic gel supposedly replicates human flesh. So if I shoot a pellet into it, it'll tell me how far the pellet went into human flesh. We're going to use my Crossman 66 power mass of that multi pump gun, my new air pistol, and a skiff, and then we'll bring out the big gun and we'll try the gamo last. Alright, we'll start with the 66 power master. I gotta pump it up. Using a couple different pellets. First, we're gonna use the RWS Hobbies in the power, in the 66 power master. Fire. Huh. Well. That's pretty amazing. I didn't think it would do that. It went uh, straight through it. It's about five inches right there. Oh no, you're falling asleep on me. I went through right about five inches. That's pretty impressive. That was with the RWS hobbies. I'm going to use my pistol now. All I'm using is these free Crossman wad cutters that came with the pistol. Load them in. Walk around back here. I don't want to hit my table. Huh. I don't know exactly where that one went. I think I shot directly into the same place. Huh. Let me try that one again. Uh, second shot with the Annex Skiff A3003. Oh, wow. There we go. That's what I wanted. Alright, you'll like this one a little better. It's pretty powerful for a little pistol. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Yellow. Uh, it's the pellet right there. It almost got out the end of it. It did not successfully get out the end of it, but it, it almost did. It's pretty impressive. That went through almost five inches of ballistics gel. All right, now we're going to try the gamo, and I guarantee this gamo will rip right through the end of it. If the power master did, the gamo will. We're going to be using these fancy little gamo pellets. Uh, hope you can see it. No gamo hunting pellets. They're not, that's not their exact name. I don't know what they're... Gamo rockets, that's what they are. Alright. Velocity's not as high as with these, but supposedly penetration's higher. Hold on. Well, here we go. Oh, wow. Yes, penetration was high. It's lying right there. Yeah, that one I'm pointing at. <laughs> Ripped right through it. And it kept going too. I heard it bounce somewhere back in my woods, but we'll take a couple more shots at it with the the pistol because the pistol didn't go straight through. It. So we're gonna give the pistol a chance to redeem itself. Uh-oh, I think we have a penetrator, I can't tell. I don't know where it is. I missed again. I don't know what's up with it. It's shooting wackily. Try another shot. Ha, here it is. It stayed on the table. Try another one. Yeah, it went through. Alright, that's pretty impressive. I'll show you what it did. 
My computer's not doing too well out here, but stay awake on me. Uh, here's one of the pellets that went through it. That same one is still the one that's in there, but as you can see, it has successfully proven that my Gamo Varmint Hunter can go through five inches of human flesh. My Crossman 66 Power Master also can go through five inches of human flesh. And my Annex Skiff A3003, the Blackbird, it can go through almost five. It didn't didn't successfully do it. Uh, it actually, successfully it did it a couple times, but the first test it did not. But it's pretty fun. Um, Ballistics Joe is really easy to make. I might make another video on how to make it sometime, but uh, you can just search it on YouTube and find out how. It was really easy. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, go ahead and comment.